Sticking with that topic, Korean Foreign Minister Yoon Byung-se also reportedly told Nancy Pelosi that the Japanese Prime Minister should specifically refer to Tokyo's past acknowledgement of its wartime sexual enslavement in its upcoming U.S. congressional speech. Seoul's Foreign Ministry said Yoon asked for Washington's support on the matter during his closed-door meeting with Pelosi so that Abe's speech can send a positive message to Korea and other countries that were affected by Japan's imperialistic atrocities. It's the first time the Korean minister used direct expressions such as Japan's, quote, past aggressions, colonial rule, and comfort women issue in regards to Abe's speech. Pelosi, however, is reported to have maintained the stance that the inclusions are the Japanese leader's decision.